Hi guys, I'm Dr. Rose Mokoma and today we are back with some interesting content. Stay tuned. Today we are going to talk about shedding in pets, that is cats and dogs. And shedding is the loss of fur by an animal. It can be normal or it can be an indication of disease. So I'm going to explain to you the causes of shedding in pets. It may be because of health issues and the health issues include parasites that caters for both external and internal parasites. Internal parasites like worms and uh, external parasites like ticks, fleas and mites. External parasites usually cause itchiness and irritation, which results in excess itching by the animal, hence the, it weakens the hair follicles and causes them to fall off. And also, uh, internal parasites like worms, they compete with the animal for nutrients, hence the animal is not getting adequate nutrients to supply to its coat health, hence uh, weak skin and then shedding. It can also be due to nutrition, we usually say your skin is what you eat and it also applies to animals because when you give them good quality food that supplies all the nutrients required by the body, that means a balanced diet in short. It usually provides necessary nutrients for the coat. If the coat is healthy, less shedding. If the coat is unhealthy, more shedding. The other point is stress. When an animal is under stress, they usually shed a lot, especially if they're in a new environment or they're being intimidated by other animals. The other point is pregnancy and lactation. When an animal is pregnant or is lactating, they usually have several hormones flowing in their system and as they breastfeed their babies, they usually lose minerals to the, which are used up in the process of making the milk, hence results in a lot of shedding. The other point is molting. Molting is a natural process, especially if it was a cold season and then it gets warmer. The animal sheds the excess fat that it had gathered for heat insulation during the cold season. Another point is age. As an animal gets older, they tend to shed more. And especially for cats, as they get older, they groom themselves less because they have less energy. When they're younger, they'll keep licking themselves to make themselves clean and neat. So yeah, age is a factor. But that one only applies to cats. Audio jungle. So uh, before you conclude whether the shedding in your pet is normal or abnormal, you should first have your pet checked by a vet just to establish what the cause is. The following are methods of preventing or managing excess shedding in pets. The first one is you should ensure that the tick and flea control for your animal or the deworming is up to date. Number two, you should uh, give balanced diet because the nutrients are essential in the coat health. Point number three, you should ensure that your pet is also well hydrated. Point number four, you should brush your pet regularly, especially if you have a long coat pet like a cat or a long coat dog. You should always uh, brush them at least twice a week. You can use a curry comb, a rake comb, a pin brush comb, or a thistle brush comb. You should uh, ensure that you wash your pet. If it's a dog, once a week. If it's a, uh, if it's a cat, you should ensure that you wash them once a month. And always ensure that you use pet appropriate shampoo and uh, don't overdo the washing. So sometimes pets shed because they have amino acids deficiency so we usually advise people to supplement by giving fatty acids like omega-3 uh, that is mostly found in seven c's the non-flavored one and you can also give vita coat plus for the coats of the pet and if worse comes to worst we usually advise that you shave your animal completely you can shave your dog or cat completely so that a new coat grows So we've talked about the causes of shedding and causes of excess shedding in your pets. So you should have them checked out so as to confirm which is which. 
and uh, follow the tips we've given you on how to prevent and manage the excess shedding. Thank you guys.